I got involved in the program because I bike a lot in the Gallatin Valley and when you're biking along the roads you see a lot more uh, smaller animals that you don't normally see when you're driving a, a vehicle down the road and so I just thought it would be interesting to document all that. This project's important to me because nobody likes to hit animals with their car and we can figure out how to live with wildlife in a more peaceful manner. I do a lot of road riding around our hometown and I've been seeing a lot of roadkill uh, and it surprised me that it seemed like there was more than there usually has been over the years. So getting an opportunity to evaluate it a little bit more closely has been the most interesting part for me. Along the way we're looking for any roadkill we see on the road itself or down in the ditches and then record all the information that we know and send it back to Adventure Scientists. We're supposed to scan the road going out 25 miles and back 25 miles. Um, looking for roadkill and when we find it we're supposed to stop and, and use the phone app to identify it and the um, circumstances surrounding the roadkill such as fences and other man-made structures. I never really thought that much about wildlife vehicle accidents and what they mean both to the wildlife and to the humans. It really made me think about that a lot more. It's really fun to do and to go out and uh, and see other parts of Montana. I encourage people to look outside of their communities for a route that might suit them, and it's a chance for them to get out and cycle someplace else.